All right, Stockmaster fans. Another Emmanuel movie. Is it even possible? There's a few more left. This one's called A Man for Emmanuel, otherwise known as Io or Eo Emmanuel. Allegedly the very first Emmanuel movie ever. Let's check it out. Our movie starts with a movie with a woman named Emmanuel. I believe she's broken up with a boyfriend. Hai dormito ancora sul divano. Non dovevi. Ti ho sentita felice. Mm -hmm, molto. Ma perché sei rimasta qui? Ero di Apparently Manuel is feeling pretty sorry for herself these days. Here she's going to imagine herself having jumped off the roof. But she didn't. She's even got some books around the house uh, dealing with suicide and such. Here she is talking about the professor who she had a relationship with. Professore. Mio caro cretino professore. Ascoltami. I think the professor took her virginity. Anyway, to drown her sorrow, she goes to meet this uh, writer guy she knows who has written what he thinks is going to be his best seller. Anyway, the writer leaves the room to get drinks for the two of them. And he comes back into the room and he's got a surprise waiting for him. Out of the blue, we have ourselves a naked Emmanuel. Emmanuel demands that the guy make love to her, and uh, he is more than happy to oblige. The guy washes up. Emmanuel starts to feel a little dirty and guilty over what she did. This guy's happy as hell. Magari a un'ora più decente. Quando tornerai, vorrei leggertelo. Sì, sì. Remember that masterpiece that he wrote? Perché ti stimo. This was before the computer <laughs> age. She decides <laughs> to burn the whole damn thing. Sì, un bel tipo. Due editori. Then she goes to his lingerie store to meet Raffaello, this guy she knows. And demands that he make love to her. Scusa, non ho capito bene. Voglio fare l'amore. He says, hey, maybe we'll go to dinner instead. What a duck. Nope. She wants his wiener and she wants it now. So Raphael is uh, willing to do that. Even though there's a lot of silk in that store, expensive as it may be, he's gonna rip it off of her. She accuses him of cheating on his wife. And he accuses the wife of cheating on him. Then she goes to the apartment of this imbecile. Sei bloccata? Sei tutta nera. Ti chiamerò notte. I'm not sure who he is, but he's kind of a moron. Sembra una foglia. 
Oh, there, she and the guy smoke a bit. They never actually sleep together, though. And she has a bad reaction to whatever she's smoking with him. So while she's walking along, she's uh, relating the story to herself about how she lost her virginity to uh, some friend of her father's years ago. I think we're probably talking statutory rape here. So she meets this woman and she has dinner with her and uh, the woman is a lesbian or something because the next thing you know, I don't know whose fantasy this is, but they're both sitting naked at the dinner table in a restaurant. Anyway, the one woman uh, gets up and leaves and uh, a few minutes later Emmanuel follows and uh, they meet up in the toilet stall. So then she goes to meet this uh, newsman, newspaper guy. She asks about uh, what's in the news, and apparently somebody burned up in an accident. I remember that. Well, she ends up going to bed with this guy, too. Remember that idiot that she was smoking with earlier? After sleeping with the newsman, she goes back to him. And they do it. But after making love for a little while, she uh, has a change of heart. So she meets her friend here and she talks about that news story about the guy burning up in the car. Turns out it was that professor guy that she knew. And that's going to hit her hard. So she has a gun and we're led to believe that she's going to kill herself. But that is not blood. Nope, it's milk. Mi è stato chiesto di spezzare un pane in una sorta di comunione nera. Manuel lives, and that's how our film ends. All right, let's talk about this movie, Io Emmanuel, Io Emmanuel, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, otherwise known as A Man for Emmanuel. Uh, it's an Italian-made movie, and despite what it might say on IMDb, this is not an official Emmanuel movie. In fact, uh, even though the character, lead character played by Erica Blank is known as Emmanuel in the movie, um, it has nothing to do with the Emmanuel series. It's just a coincidence. So this came, uh, sometimes it's touted as the first Emmanuel movie because it came out in 1969, uh, five years before uh, the original Emmanuel was Sylvia Crystal did, but again, nothing to do with that at all. It just happens to be a coincidence. So anyway, what we have here is a movie where a woman... Um, uh, she's kind of having going through a self-discovery. It sounds like she broke up with her guy friend, and then she starts sleeping around with everybody under the sun. Uh, a newspaper guy, some imbecile, who I'm not sure what he was, um, a professor. And then we find out later on that the guy that she was with, or maybe that was the professor, I'm not sure, was in a car crash and burned to death. So she gets really upset by that. At the end of the movie, we think she's going to kill herself because she has a gun. And next thing you know, she's like trying to cleanse herself by drinking milk. I don't know, it's kind of a strange thing, but that's our film. So, again, nothing to do with the Manuel movie. There is a few nudes in this movie. Not much, but there are a few. Uh, Erica Blank is actually a very attractive lady. And uh, she did some uh, exploitation films as well, I believe. Um, and a couple of other, like, gothic horror movies. I think I have a couple of her movies, but 
offhand, I couldn't tell you what those titles are. But anyway, this movie is an Italian-made movie, and uh, it has Italian uh, language and no English soundtrack in this. It does have some subtitles on this DVD, so that helped a lot because I don't speak Italian, even though I have been to Italy once. But anyway, as a film goes, it's actually not a bad film. It was pretty engaging, and the fact that it had uh, subtitles means I had to pay attention more because I had to read to follow along what was happening in the movie. Um, again, Erica Blank is a beautiful actress, and uh, uh, it's great seeing a couple nude scenes that she was in. But overall, it's a, it's a actually fairly entertaining drama. It's not that bad of a film. So anyway, I recommend this film if you can find it. It's called A Man for Eman a Man for Emmanuel, aka I.O. Emmanuel or E.O. Emmanuel. It's spelled I.O. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but check it out. Let me know what you think about it and leave some comments down below. We'll talk about it. A Man for Emmanuel. Watch it.